as I looked at those horses, yes, those two horses, we've been talking about them quite a bit. Something else came to my mind. Prepare for victory. Prepare for victory. Yes, we do need to prepare for victory. Have you seen an athlete who doesn't prepare? How could they gain the victory? Looking at these images of strong looking horses remind me of the Bible passage in Proverbs 21, 31 that says, a horse may be prepared for the day of battle, but victory belongs to God. Victory belongs to God. But we need to prepare our horses, make them ready for the race that we are here to run. How are you making your own horse ready? What, in fact, is your horse? What represents your horse? Is it your skill? Are you getting your skills ready? Sharpening your skills? Building your strength? Every day has its own battle, the race that needs to be run. Victory comes from the Lord, but we have to do our part. What is your horse? Is it education? Do you need to improve your education? Do you need to improve on your education so you can extend your reach in life? Are you building yourself up, preparing very well for your exams, attending your lectures as you need to? If you're a student, doing all your assignments, completing your tasks. Or is your horse your job? Victory comes from the Lord, but you need to do your work well and please the boss. <laughs> yes, by doing the right things. The things you need to do, doing them well and at the right time. So that you're making your horse ready for that promotion, for that next job. For that next race is your horse your business are you putting everything you need into it truly i feel like i'm preaching but we all want victory right victory belongs to god but to get that victory we have to play our part there are practical things that we need to do to be able to end that victory the Lord teaches us to make wealth. Yes, <laughs> that's another thing, another passage straight from the Bible. He is our God who teaches us to prosper. But He can only prosper what you put your hand on. He can only prosper what you do. Victory in business comes by preparing well and doing the business well. Prepare your horse, your body, like horse. Yes, everyone's body is that great horse that powers us. So how do we make our bodies ready for battle? How do you make your body ready for each day's race? You knew I was going to mention the body, didn't you? Are you preparing your body? Keeping your body strong and well? Eating well, resting well, exercising when you should. I take my walk every day. Well, almost every day. For me, there are other forms of exercises that I need to do too. I've been telling myself, hey, you need to do your exercise. Exercise those shoulders. After all, the physiotherapist gave me some exercises. I did them for a while. Mm. <laughs> I stopped. I need to be more faithful about exercising other parts of my body that need them. How about my knees? I need to work on my knees by doing the daily exercises. Taking walks, I must say, has become natural for me. But the other exercises that I need to do to keep my knees strong, to keep my back well, to have a strong core so that I don't go falling when I'm older. I remember what the physiotherapist told me. He said, Mrs. Sechet, these are your knees. You need to keep doing these exercises. I need, to, I need my legs to carry me through life. 
I am sure you're saying the same of yourself. And I know what to do to keep them prepared for the task ahead of them. I must keep my horse prepared. As much as is within my power, as much as knowledge lets me, I need to do my part. What do you need to do so that you can continue to make your horse ready? Surely, surely, victory belongs to God. And we are more than victorious, as the Bible says. But you really do have to make your horse ready. Healing and health are ours in Jesus. But make your body ready. Make it fit. Don't go on junks. Learn what to eat to keep healthy. And if you already know, eat those. You don't have anybody to blame if you don't do what you need to do to make your horse ready. To keep your horse prepared for each day's work. To keep your body ready to fight off diseases. The things in the environment that can make the body break down. We have our part to play in making the horse ready. In preparing our horses, keeping them strong. We need our horse to be strong. Your business skills, sharpen your skills, take good care of your body. If you are overworking your body, stop overworking. Overworking doesn't help to make your body ready for each day's activity. You want to work hard, work strong, and you also want to rest well. Yeah, <laughs> rest. Rest well. That's part of making your horse strong for the battle. That's exactly what I'm doing now in this place. So I can feel in a good position to preach this message. Come on, go get some rest. Rest well. Do something different. Go to different places. Go to new places. It doesn't have to be anywhere far. You can go to places around you. See new things. Do new things. All these help you to strengthen your body, your brain. You need to strengthen your brain. You need to make your brain ready for each day's task. And for it to continue to be ready, you need to have rest. We need, I need my brain to last me the rest of life. So let that brain rest, yeah? Let that brain rest. That's what all the people you see at the Kelpies are doing. They're doing something different. Resting the brain. Resting helps prepare your brain for its next task. My next writing. My gathering content for my videos. <laughs> Preparing your horse for the battle. It makes your horse ready. You see? And then, you can always say, victory belongs to God. Get that task completed. If you have stalled, there's something you've been doing and you know that it's very important for the next step of victory. If you've stopped doing it, pick it off from where you stopped. Yeah. Take it off from where you dropped it. Maybe you left it somewhere and say, oh, I'm tired. I don't think I can do this again. You know what I want to say to you? You can. You can make it. Maybe you just need to get some rest or you just need to chat to somebody or check a few things up online and do things differently. Like it's often said, you can't keep doing things the same way and expect to get a different result. So if you've been doing and you haven't been getting results, how about trying other ways, talking to people and you know, just researching. <laughs> yeah, checking out how other people are doing it. Ask questions. I remember when I was writing my book, Broken Rhythm. At some point, I stopped. I felt dry. And it was tempting to just drop it. After all, I hadn't promised anybody a book. I hadn't told anyone I'm writing a book for you. Nobody gave me the contract to write a book for them. So I could stop. But I said, no, you don't stop. 
you got to move on, Busola. What do you need to do to make progress? I'm not going to leave this unfinished. I'm surely going to finish it. So what did I do? I decided to read. Just leave off writing. So that's doing something different. Read. I read different kinds of book, fiction. I just make myself read. And I enjoyed. I read things that I enjoyed reading. And by the time I was done, I became refreshed. See the way I prepared my house for, for the battle day? I took a break from that thing because I could. And I did other things that encouraged. So when we talk about taking a break, doing something different, it can be something entirely different, something that interests you. But something that builds you up. That was the way I prepared my house for that battle. And, you know, I completed it. Victory belongs to the Lord. He gave me the victory when I'd done my bits. And a lot of people are reading Broken Rhythm and giving me great feedback, how they've enjoyed it, how they've shared it with others, and they're waiting for the next one. If I stay stuck, if I said I couldn't, you know, there would have been no victory story today. Victory belongs to the Lord. You know I'm a praying girl. I pray. Oh, I pray. When I get stuck, I pray. I ask God to help me. I pray hard like it all depends on God. Because it does. And I work hard. As if it all depends on me. You know that saying, pray like it depends on God. Work like it depends on you. Victory is sure. You go to work, prepare, make your horse ready. Show me your faith without your works. And I will show you my faith by my works. So if you are trusting God for victory, do your part. How do you make your own horse ready for the battle? Please share with us in the content section. We'd like to hear from you. How do you prepare yourself? For the race, for the daily race of life, the daily activities and tasks and requirements and expectations of life in any area, relationship, work, business, please share with us. And if this has been good, remember to click like and share with others. Yeah, share this video with others. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's a good time to do so. Thank you again, and I'll see you in my next video.